demons and all this mayhem and chaos is taking place. It looks like God is not there, but hold on, God is coming. The Bible says, Sent for Daniel. I want you to know that the symbol of this tree means power, prosperity, strength, might, expansion, shade, food, shelter, fuel, beauty, raw materials. Whenever if you dream of a tree, a large tree, it means that expansion was coming. So the king taught that, that the tree represented his power and his might. And all these things are happening until a water came. And he says, King Nebuchadnezzar, the tree will be cut down. I'm going to bring down the tree. Somebody say, God will bring it down. I'm talking about nobody here. Eh? You know, you have to listen to my voice. God will bring down the tree. He's going to leave the stump because it was cut up. The tree symbolizes strength. The stump. And the roots that God will leave the roots back. Do ever forget the roots? Do ever forget where He took you from? Do ever forget what God has done? The roots. You can't see it all the time. Some are exposed or some are buried. And He says, I will leave the stump and the roots. I want you to know that Jesus said in the New Testament, He's a true vine. He's a righteous tree. Don't ever forget that there was one who was laid on the tree. While he dreamt the tree, the symbolism is that while the king dreamt the tree, he later will figure out and he will realize that it was Bible prophecy that one will be nailed on a tree for us. The potent force of Almighty God. Mysteries and signs. In the Bible, Jesus said, You can take this on John chapter 15. I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch of me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit, he proves that it may bear much fruit. You are very clean because of the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I will abide in you. I want to know if somebody say, Jesus is my source, is my strength. Is my sustainer. The Bible talks about the king. And when Daniel interpreted the dream, he says, Oh king, the dream is for you. There's something called boanthropy. The man turned into a beast. My goodness. You see, God don't need no whistle. God don't need no grenades. The Bible says, what of the man was speaking about the greatness of Babylon? A watcher came. Okay, somebody said the watchers are here. And I'm talking about you. The watchers. The, the king didn't know that the angels had manifested. Somebody said, watch over me. Watchman. The king. A message that comes from a king. He says, the watchers have come. And while he boasted about Babylon, the Bible says, in the, while the world was in his lips, the man went mad. Oh, you see the greatness of God? You see the 